Something that's exciting about Crystal Bridges is that it sits on the homeland of Quapaw, Caddo, and Osage Nations, um, and many others who, um, whose ancestral territories intersected in this region of the country. There's something really beautiful about creating a museum of this scale here in this territory and being able to share some of those diverse stories from Indigenous communities. Indigenous art is art created by Indigenous people. So the artist is an Indigenous person. In a lot of ways, Indigenous art is interesting because the timeline of those art histories predates settler colonial or American history. As curator of Indigenous art here at Crystal Bridges, I'm excited to create new exhibitions, expand the scholarship on Indigenous art, and work collaboratively with artists and communities to provide new stories. One of the ways that museums have harmed Indigenous communities in the past is by really focusing on Native Americans as relics of the past. So thinking of them in historical timelines rather than thinking about folks in a contemporary way or as communities that are living and thriving. Crystal Bridges can reframe the conversation by creating space for Indigenous artists, curators, scholars to tell our own stories and our own words. By changing the narrative, you can change the future. And my hope is that when folks from different backgrounds learn about Indigenous art, that they're learning about it in a way that is respectful, in a way that's accurate, and a way that is collaborative so that you're actually experiencing or hearing, you know, um, our own stories and our own words. Part of my role is really thinking about what it means to curate and challenging Western modalities of curation and really thinking about creating opportunities through Indigenous uh, research methodologies as well as curatorial processes that disperse the center of those storytelling approaches. So during my tenure, one of my goals is to expand the collection of Indigenous art at Crystal Bridges, really thinking about the works that are shaping society, that are starting conversations um, across the field. Another one of my goals is to strengthen relationships between Indigenous communities and this institution. My appointment to Curator of Indigenous Art is not a proxy for the work Crystal Bridges and all museums should be embarking on toward decolonizing museums, but rather one step toward indigenizing museums through highlighting Indigenous curatorial practices and diverse art histories.